Greetings ladies and gentlemen of the galaxy, I am Zach and welcome to ADHD. Well folks, it's finally here, season 2 of The Mandalorian. We kicked things off with a banger of a first episode, so without further ado, let's get into the breakdown, shall we? Let me just say that I will be spoiling episode 1 of season 2 of The Mandalorian, so if that's a problem for you, you may want to hit pause and go watch the episode approximately right now. So, right off the bat, we see that a sizable chunk of the trailer was made up of shots from the first five minutes of this episode. That's not too surprising, in fact, I'd be shocked if anything in the trailer was from the later half of the season. Mando's looking for more Mandalorians, and he finds out that one can be found on Tatooine from Gore Polyphemus Koresh. I hope at least one of you appreciates that reference. A small detail that I appreciated was that after IG-11 saved both his life as well as the child's, Mando is a little more appreciative of droids. He allows the droids at the spaceport on Tatooine to work on the crest, a stark contrast to last season. It was just a small detail, but it worked so well, I thought. Furthermore, we discover that Pili Mato, or Princess Carolyn for any of you BoJack Horseman fans, owns R5, the droid that had a bad motivator in A New Hope and inadvertently caused the events of the original trilogy to occur. Just a really neat easter egg, I thought. After the Mandalorian tracks down the other supposed Mandalorian, we discover that it is in fact Cobb Vanth from the Aftermath novel, wearing Boba Fett iconic armor. It seems that that particular rumor was 100% correct. Problem is, is that the Mandalorian Creed prevents non-Mandalorians from wearing Mandalorian armor, so Mando moves to take the armor back from Vanth. Their duel is interrupted, however. We actually see a live crate dragon move on the little town. You'll recall a skeleton of a crate dragon present in A New Hope, but this is the first canon appearance of one alive, if I'm not mistaken. Very much like the worms in Dune, apparently, Tatooine is now Arrakis. We learn from Vanth that not everything was peachy after the Empire fell as mining guilds moved in and oppressed the innocent almost immediately. I like this fact a lot. Say what you want about the Empire, but they certainly did keep order on the plans that they held a presence on. In the absence of order, there's potential for chaos. Then again, the Empire certainly had its problems, so I'm not like vouching for them or anything. We again meet some Tusken Raiders and they agree to team up with Vanth and his villagers in order to kill the bothersome crate dragon. The Mandalorian continues to add depth to the Tusken Raiders. No longer are they just mindless killers and savages as portrayed in the films. They have a code, they have a creed, they have a lifestyle. Another interesting observation I had was the mutual respect that the Mandalorian and the Tusken Raiders show for one another. I surmise that it is due to how similar their ways of life are. Then the game attacks the crate dragon and the aspect ratio of the show kind of changed, going from widescreen to full screen during the sequence, likely to make the battle seem larger than life. And I definitely think it worked fairly well in this case. After a long battle, the dragon is killed and the day is saved, leaving the Mandalorian with another set of armor, but no closer to finding another of his kind. And the last thing we see in this episode, as Mando speeds off, is a bald, acidically burned Boba Fett, played by the great Tamora Morrison. It was awesome to see him in Star Wars again, man. He, he was a decent sized part of, I'm sure, a lot of our childhoods, if you're around my age at least. So all in all, I thought this was a solid episode. It followed a similar formula to Season 1, Episode 2, where the Mando is tasked with killing a beast in order to get something in return. I do think that they probably should have tried something a little more original. However, I did like Cobb Vanth, and it's just so refreshing to have a new piece of Star Wars, so I'm going to give this episode a B. Another solid episode from a good Star Wars show. So that's where I'm going to leave it. What did you think about the episode, and did you notice anything that I missed? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Leave a like and subscribe while you're at it, it would be much appreciated. Remember, new videos every Wednesday as well as episode breakdowns for each new episode on the weekends. Anyway, I'm Zach, and I'll see you in the future.